Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, I recently released the Pumpkinville quilt and cross stitch pattern, and today I thought it would be fun to show you how I'm finishing my cross stitch piece. So this is a really easy finishing. Anyone can do it. As a matter of fact, I'm sure you guys are all way more creative in your finishing, but I still thought it would be fun to show you how I finished mine. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive right in and get started. You don't need very many supplies. And actually, when I'm finishing something small like this, sometimes I will actually just clip off little pieces off of my existing decor, mainly so it's not noticeable, of course, but then I can just use those little pieces in things like this. For this one, I did go out and get a few new things. Everything that you see in this video is all from Michaels. This entire top piece and then the bottom piece is actually from TJ Maxx. So I'll talk all about that in the video. Let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll show you how I finished my Pumpkinville cross stitch. So here are all of my supplies. It's kind of a hodgepodge of things. I found these two different ribbons. Um, all of this is from Michaels, by the way, not sponsored, just where it's from. So I have a kind of a burlapy ribbon. I also have this cute gingham pumpkin ribbon and then I got a few pumpkins, some extra foliage and these little dried flowers. These were tied with this, so I might actually use this to tie my bow um, or, you know, put something around it. Um, I could use some floral wire here. I don't actually have any, so I'm just going to make do with what I have. And then I do have some, these are just like little metal snippers that I use for jewelry making and then some scissors I don't care about. And of course I have our Pumpkinville cross stitch piece. This was finished on two pieces of sticky board and I did put a little bit of batting on it, quilt batting just to kind of make it a little bit puffier. The instructions are in the pattern for this. I cut the board, mounted my cross stitch on it and then I cut a second board and just mounted some fun fabric on it. So that's gonna be ready to go. But first, so this piece I got at TJ Maxx and it was $8.99 and it might've even been on sale. So. I don't know if there's any numbers on there that can help you out, but that is what I got. And this piece is just a little bit, it's probably a little snug. I could have got something bigger, but this is just the one that I found that fitted the best. So that's just what we're gonna go with. So I have my piece and the first thing I'm going to do is work on my ribbon. So I've cut three sections of ribbon and these are all dependent on the size of my piece. So this first size I cut so it just hangs over the edge just slightly because when I crimp it, it kind of pulls it in a little bit. So I've got these pieces. These are about nine inches. I also cut these two. These ones are at about 12 inches. It's not gonna matter what the ends on this one look like, but I did fold this end in half and just snip from the center out so we have a cute little edge there. These edges are gonna get covered. And then I have a third set of ribbon and I think these were about 16 inches. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just layer and I thought it'd be cute to layer them together but you could just do one layer of ribbon if you wanted. So I'm just gonna set that there. And then first I'm gonna take our long pieces and we're just gonna fold them into a circle just like that so they're overlapping. And you can adjust the overlap to whatever you want. So um, I mean, I think that looks pretty Good. I'll probably just leave that there just so we have a little bit of our tail sticking out. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. So just overlap it and then put it on there so that you feel like it, you know, you've got a little bit of each layer sticking out. So then here's our three layers and then we just need to grab it in the middle and just kind of scrunch it together. And this is a lot of layers, so it's not gonna matter. We're gonna cover up this center bit with some of this other fun stuff. So I am gonna just use some of this twine and I'm just gonna squeeze it, I guess, kind of like that. And then I'm gonna wrap my twine around and tie. And I think I want this twine kind of hanging down, so I'm actually gonna tie on the side over here so that my twine is coming down this way. That way, if I wanna tie a little twine bow or something and have that hang down, I can. If not, I can just pull it to the back and hide it. So I'm just gonna tie that in a knot. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it because I'm not exactly sure that's gonna fit on the top just like this. And I'm not exactly sure if I want those dangling down or what, but I have options that way. And now we can take some of our fun stuff and have a little bit of fun with this. So I'm just gonna clip off one of these pumpkins. Hopefully this will work. Baby cutters. Probably should go out to the garage and get my husband's real ones. Might do that. These aren't quite strong enough. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna try these and see if these, actually I have a bigger pair if these don't work too, so. And I'm just gonna kinda estimate how much of that I think I need. Okay, there we go, a little bit better. And you can cut off the other ones of these if you want. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside. 
these ones I'm going to do the same thing with. I'm just going to cut off a couple. I think I only need a couple of these. And these actually have little ridges in them. So it lets you know like where would be a decent place to cut them off. So I have those to work with. And then I also got these cute little flowers. These are like dried flowers, so they're a little bit more delicate. So I'm not gonna mess with these too much. I'm either going to just, I don't know, we'll see. So my thought was to maybe put something like that. I can also still use this to tie those on. So that's another reason why I left these. And then maybe a little pumpkin in the middle and then maybe a flower or two. Hopefully I don't, hopefully these don't just completely come apart on me, but we're gonna try. Something like that, I think, will be cute. I think I'm gonna actually cut this off because I think I might actually just glue it. Worst case, if that doesn't work out, I have another one. Kind of do something like this, okay. You can also use hot glue. That looks cute. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I'm gonna wrap that around and just tie it again. And then I think we'll put it on top like that and then maybe just glue one little last pumpkin there. I think that's gonna be cute. Cut that so it's hanging down. Now if you wanted, you could get a little bit of a bigger piece and mount this on the cross stitch. I think I'm actually gonna leave mine up here on top just because um, I don't wanna take away from my cross stitch. I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun, which I didn't show you before, but you do need a hot glue gun. I will link this specific one below. And I'm just gonna pop that right on there. Just being careful, just like that. I'm gonna put a little bit on my pumpkin as well and just pop him. I'm gonna angle it towards the front a little bit so he's kind of, you know, just angling down just a little. Okay, and you're gonna wanna let that dry just a little bit here. Okay, and then we can just take our cross stitch piece and just run some glue around the edges. You don't wanna put too much so that it comes out towards the front, but enough that it stays. Um, if you would want to reuse this block for something else, you could also uh, just put the magnets on there so that it's removable and then you can swap it out and use it for different seasons. The sides of this one are already painted orange, but it would be super easy to just repaint it. This would be really cute if you painted it this blue color um, or you know, you could go with green or even just like a cream color so that you can reuse it for different seasons. And also if you have wired ribbon, you can push this little uh, bow up so it sticks up a little bit better. My ribbon, the, the orange one is wired, the other one isn't, so it kind of works, kind of doesn't. Um, also, I have so much stuff here in the middle that I think it's kind of pushing it down a little bit, but that's also an option. If you don't want to put all this other stuff on top, you can just do a cute little bow and just puff it up and then maybe just add a cute little accent in the middle. So that is how mine is going to be finished this year. I thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys. If you are finishing Pumpkinville cross stitch along with me, make sure to comment below, tag me on social media so that I can see how you're finishing. I always think you guys are super creative on your finishing. All right guys, so here is what my finished piece is looking like and the top I think just turned out really cute. I did, oh, I think I just stuck this in at the last minute. Is it coming out? Yeah, okay. I did decide to just add another little twine bow right here and I actually just tied it with my leftover strings. So it's actually just a little loop in there, but I just thought it gave it a little bit of something extra. But that's how I finished my piece. As you can see, it was very easy to do and a lot of fun. As I mentioned before, if you are stitching along with me, make sure to share your finished pieces on social media. You can either post it in my Facebook group or you can also post it um, in social media and just tag me. You can even email me at Eric at Confessions of a Homeschooler. I always love seeing how you guys finish your pieces because you're so creative. If you missed this release, you can get this pattern at my store at store.confessionsofahomeschooler.com. I will also make sure to link it below this video. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed our finishing tutorial. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps me out. And then you can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.
Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I recently re Which side's my good side? <laughs> All right, that's it. 